The CD replication line is made up of five main components. The hopper, injection molding, metallizing, coating, and inspection. The main component used in replicating a compact disc is an optical grade polycarbonate granulate. The polycarbonate granules are vacuumed into a hopper and then dried at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It requires between two to three hours of drying time before it can be used. It is essential to dry the material prior to use to remove moisture so a good quality disc can be produced. At the beginning of the replication line, there is a small hopper located above the injection barrel. This ensures that there is a constant supply of material being fed to the injection barrel at all times during operation. The sensor located in the feed line sends a signal to the large hopper telling it when the molding machine needs more polycarbonate. To melt the polycarbonate, a heated injection barrel is used. The injection barrel has five different zones to melt the polycarbonate. The temperature ranges from 590 to 660 degrees. Once the polycarbonate is melted, it is injected into the mold to produce the disc. It takes between four to five seconds to mold each disc. There is 25 tons of clamping force applied to the mold to compact the plastic being injected. This is the stage where the data from the stamper is embedded into the disc. So the plastic is injected into the mold, clamping pressure applied, and the disc is formed against the stamper. Once this process is complete, the mold opens, a mechanical arm moves in, and takes the disc out of the mold. A robotic arm takes the disc and moves it to the cooling tower. Since the disc is about 210 degrees Fahrenheit when it comes out of the mold, it has to be cooled before it goes through the metallizing process. The cooling tower lifts up and turns so the discs can be loaded onto the turntable where the discs are fed, one at a time, into the metallizer. The raw CD already stores the information, but it cannot be read yet. In order to be readable, the laser beam of the player needs to be reflected. To create a layer of reflection, the CD is sent through a metalizer where a thin coating of metal is applied to one side of the CD. Once the disc is in position, a pivot arm picks up the CD using suction cuffs and places the disc on a swivel arm located in the metalizer. Metalizing is done in a vacuum chamber. The process used to metalize the disc is called cathode sputtering. It is a process that is used to produce thin films. Ion bombardment removes particles of coating material from a target and these particles are deposited and settle on the disc. After the metallization process is complete, which takes about two seconds, the swivel arm moves back and deposits the disc back onto the round table. The table turns one position at a time until the disc reaches the lacquer coating station. A sensor sees the disc in position and the disc is moved into the lacquer bowl. Lacquer is important in the production of CDs because it helps seal the thin layer of metal applied during the metallizing stage. It also helps in the silkscreen printing process. Once the disc is in the bowl, the disc is spun at a low speed to spread the lacquer on the disc. The disc goes from the slow spin of about 60 to 80 RPM up to 2500 to 3000 RPM for 2.5 to 3 seconds. This spreads the lacquer evenly across the disc. The excess lacquer is captured in a bowl, sent through a filter, and reused. Now that the lacquer is applied, it has to be dried. The disc is placed on the UV round table. The table turns to expose the wet lacquer to the ultraviolet light. The disc dries in about two seconds. The table rotates again and another arm picks up the disc and deposits it on the inspection round table. The disc is sent over an inspection camera which looks for any flaws that might be present on the disc. If the disc is okay, it is sent to the acceptable spindle. If there are any defects, the disc is sent to the reject spindle. The replication process is a very detailed, scientific, technical, and precise process. Graphics Products takes great pride in producing discs of the highest quality, on time, and within your budget. For additional information, visit our website at gpimage.com.